In this segment, we're going to talk about systems. And a system is something you've chosen to analyze. So let's say I'm interested in analyzing this purple box here. I would start by, well, defining what part of that box am I talking about? OK, well, it looks like I'm talking about the whole box. So I draw my boundary around the whole box. Um, my boundary is this little imaginary dotted line. That's my boundary. And everything that's inside it is my system. And everything that's outside that boundary, that's my surroundings. So super simple so far. Um, a thermodynamic system, it's a chunk of mass or a region of space that you've chosen to analyze. And those are two very different scenarios. And it's going to be important for us to be able to distinguish which one of those scenarios that we have, um, because the equations that we're going to use in this class may be different depending on which one of those scenarios that we have. So let's look at the first one, the chunk of mass one. It's what we refer to as a closed system. Sometimes you'll hear this referred to as a control mass. Less commonly, you'll, you might see it referred to as a fixed mass. All, all three of those terms mean the same exact thing. So here we've got a piston cylinder. And you'll become very, uh, very adept at solving piston cylinder problems in this class. And it looks like I'm interested in what's going on with that gas within the piston cylinder because I've drawn my boundary around it, the little dotted line there. So my system is the gas. There's a lot of other things going on there, a lot of com moving components, but the thing I'm interested in is the gas itself. So as my piston head moves up, the gas is compressed. As it moves down, it's allowed to expand. So my boundary can absolutely move. But the distinguishing factor for a closed system is that mass does not cross the system boundary. But I could do other things. I can heat it up. I could do work on the system. So I can, I can transfer energy to or from the system, uh, specifically in the form of heat and work. So let's look at an animation here. All right, so I've got a crazy looking system here. Um, and you'll see the dotted line. There's my system boundary. Everything inside that little dotted line, that's my system. Um, and I've got these little molecules floating around in my system. But you'll notice that none of, those, none of those molecules are crossing over the system boundary. Um, I do have a lot of other things going on, though. I've got some heat transfer. I've got some work going on, various types of work. We won't really worry about those types of work yet, but suffice it to say, we have work going on. Um, but no mass is crossing that system boundary. No mass is leaving. Open system. Sometimes you refer, refer to it as a control volume. That's very common. Less commonly would be, or less common would be a fixed volume. All those terms are synonymous. And no big surprise here, with an open system, mass can cross the system boundary. And energy can cross the system boundary, specifically in the form of heat and work. And um, by very nature of mass flowing in and flowing out, because mass carries with it energy, um, it, can form, it can cross the boundary in the form of mass. All right, so let's look at another animation here. All right, so we've got, obviously, we've got a couple of inlets and we've got one outlet. So here I've got mass flowing in through the bottom and mass flowing out through the top. Um, so with an open system, you don't necessarily have to have mass going in and out. It could just be going in, could just be going out. It would still classify as an open system because mass is crossing over. Um, and we also have energy transfer in the form of heat transfer. We've got some work going on. Um, there's one difference between, well, besides the inlets and the outlets, there's one difference between this, this uh, animation and the previous one. In the previous one, you had a piston cylinder device at the very top. Um, and we could still have that here. It makes things a little bit more complicated. We could still have it here, and it would still be classified as an open system because you've got mass going in and mass going out. Um, so, all right. Well, I hope that was helpful.